Hey, it's Anne again. I have this thing I want to talk to you about. Uh, in Norway we have something called uh, Juleverkstad. <laughs> if you translate, translate that directly into, Engl uh, into English from Norwegian, you get something like Christmas workshop. Um, in fact, Norwegians tend to have work workshops for all kinds of things. Um, at least where I come from. <laughs> um, these workshops, uh, traditionally, though, are not virtual that they are, you know, tend to be today. Traditionally, these are real time workshops sitting down a group of people somewhere. Okay. Before I go uh, a bit further, I need to make a disclaimer. Norway is like 1700 kilometers long uh, from south to north. In comparison, from San Diego to Seattle, it's the same length. So, in other words, practically the same distance. And it, the differences in San Diego and Seattle are huge. And the same here in Norway. Uh, and if you also consider that you have to cross quite a few fjords and climb some mountains to go from one place to another, then it really does say naturally that you know the customs are many diff and they are different and many people might not have the same traditions as mine even you know even my neighbor might have something else that he or she grew up with because they might have ancestors or family coming from the north or from the west or you never know i however grew up in a family where christmas workshops are said was the most natural thing in the world and if that didn't happen it wasn't really a Christmas so I want to tell you a little bit about it what is a Christmas workshop a Christmas workshop is when the whole family or maybe a group of friends as I said before gather sit down a large table and make Christmas stuff right what we normally did was that dad was doing the Christmas stuff with us and my mom was baking Christmas cakes and then we, you know, did a little of each. So we sit down and do some crafting stuff. Uh, what you make is entirely up to you, really. In my family, we always collected, you know, stones, moss, mushrooms, branches and other stuff that was collectible <laughs> from the woods during uh, one of our many trips into the forest uh, during autumn. And we brought them home, we dried it out, and then they were ready. All the stuff was, was ready to be used for crafting in December during our Christmas workshop. Or Yule instead. In my family, we made decorations of various kinds. Presents to grandparents and other family members. That being said... Not everything that was made did actually get used, neither as decor nor as presents. There was kind of a censorship on this. The bar to pass though was low, so most actually did pass the control, but some did not, absolutely not. Um, but the point with the whole Christmas workshop, workshop was to sit down together and do stuff together. And in our case, with a grown up, so that you can get help when you need it, okay? When you get stuck. Because you do get stuck, don't you? Even though, you know, even as a grown up, you do get stuck. stuck. So, why am I telling you this? I have something coming very soon. And as you might have guessed, this have a part to play in that, okay? So what I want you to do is to stay tuned. And um, awfully soon, the answer will come your way. See you later. <laughs>